Thursday the 12th of January and welcome to From the South. Venezuelan authorities have arrested opposition deputy Gilbert Caro. He is accused of alleged conspiracy against the government and possession of firearms and weapons. Vice President Tarek al Asaimi said that Caro had previously been sentenced for drug trafficking and homicide. He added that the deputy sought to cultivate violence and terrorism in the streets of Venezuela over the past few years. At least 10 people have been arrested in Lima following new clashes against the hike in tolls. For several days, Peruvians have been mobilizing in the streets of the capital in rejection to the increase. The mobilization was called through the social networks by the group Young People Against the Toll of North Lima. It had the participation of about 500 people. Tensions are escalating between Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto and US President-elect Donald Trump. Peña Nieto addressed Mexican ambassadors at the National Palace this week, reiterating that Mexico will not pay for the Trump wall, adding that, quote, at no time will we accept anything that goes against our dignity as a country and our dignity as Mexicans. This comes after Trump's announcement that the wall construction will begin as soon as he gets into office, with Mexico to reimburse the total cost. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen met with her Guatemalan counterpart this week. It is her hope to strengthen economic ties with Central America. Her independent moves have garnered tense observation from Beijing, which believes in a one-China policy. Tsai also visited Honduras and Nicaragua this week, and is also carded to land in El Salvador. According to the Russian government, the deployment of thousands of US soldiers to Poland as part of a NATO buildup is a threat to Russia's national security. The mission is one of the largest deployments of US forces in Europe since the Cold War. Some 3,000 troops will be deployed to Poland and other nearby NATO partners on a rotational basis along with heavy equipment. Around 300 people gathered in front of the United Nations under tight security in Geneva to protest against the Turkish government. Foreign ministries of Britain, Greece and Turkey were meeting in an attempt to thrash out a security deal for a post-settlement reunited Cyprus. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called this weekend's Middle East peace conference in Paris rigged. Israel has refused to play any role in the meeting. Sunday's conference will be attended by some 70 nations and is aimed at exploring ways to restart long-stalled Israeli-Palestinian peace efforts. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe offered support for Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte's controversial drug war as the pair met in Manila for talks. Abe is also intent on maintaining Japan's strong ties with the Philippines as Duterte shakes up his nation's foreign policy with a shift away from the United States. The leader of Gabon's main civil service union called for a boycott of the African Nations Cup. According to Jean-Rémy Yama, the money the country is spending on hosting the tournament would be better spent on health and education. He added that holding the tournament for the second time in five years was not justified financially. More on these and other stories on our website telesortv.net slash English.